Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing 10 ways that I customize my computer and how I make it more, like a lot easier for me to use and a lot nicer to look at. So without further ado, let's head on straight into this video. So first, I'm going to be showing you all how I customize my desktop and I'll also be showing you how you can make your own kind of background. So they give you a lot of options, like Apple gives you a lot of options in the first place and you can change them between light and dark modes and with each update they have some new pictures and I think they look really nice and this one is my favorite, it has a bunch of rocks but they also have some that are similar to the phone or iPad ones that they have released with recently. They also have some really fun ones so you can choose between a bunch of different options. Now, if you want to make your own, you can go to a site called Canva and you can make your own. And they have a bunch of cute little photos and graphics and you can make your own kind of background, add whatever images you like. So let's say I want to make a water theme. Well, I can look for some water images and then I can put them and I can resize them and I can make almost like a collage online and then you can download that and put it as your screensaver. All you have to do is download it to your desktop, right click and click set as desktop wallpaper. They have a bunch of different options and if you don't like the colors, you can go ahead and change them with this little menu bar on top. Depending on what you're trying, the look you're trying to go for with the thing, with the background, and so here I went with a water and blue theme. You can also add text, so you can make it just suit your personality. Or if you want a reminder every day when you open your computer, you can just put it on the background. And I also really like this site because it's super easy to use. The next thing I'll be showing you is how I change the accent color and the highlight color. So first, you can also change the appearance, like dark light. I personally like auto, and you can also change the accent color. So as you can see, you can choose from blue, purple, pink, um, red, and orange, yellow, and green, and gray. You can also choose different default browsers. And personally, I like the pink one, or the, or the purple. I kept it for purple for a really long time, and I really like how it looks. So you can just do it based on the theme. Like let's say you have a blue background, you might go for the blue one or a green background. So you can just make it suit however you want. And just to show you the highlight color, as you can see, if I were to click, it will highlight in the purple because I chose purple as the highlight color. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize Chrome. So you can go ahead and click this customize bar in the bottom corner when you open Chrome and you can change the background. And I really like these backgrounds here. They also have a bunch of different kinds you can choose. You could also upload for your from your own laptop, but they do have some really nice ones like these. So you can choose from them or just upload your own or have no theme at all. And also you can change the top menu bar color like this and it can help if you want to tie everything together. So for example, I've had this background and I would put the black top menu bar because it matches the black with black. So whatever you think looks nicest and I really do like having it matching. You can also customize the shortcuts. Next, I'll be showing you how to custom customize Safari in case you're a bigger fan. So if you click these three on the bottom, you can customize what it shows you, but I personally just keep it as my privacy report and favorites. You can also choose some from some backgrounds that they've made, or you can right click and click choose background. And then they have all the backgrounds that, so if you want to have it the same as your laptop, or you can download your own. So I personally like these ones. I think they look super cool, but whichever one you guys like, and I, if you want to, you can also clear the background if you want it more simplistic, but it, you can also upload your own as well. Next, I'll be showing you how did I got this Sora, Pinterest, YouTube, and Google Drive apps on my dock. So you can see I was able to download them so that I have quick access on my dock and less tabs open. And how did I do that? So I'm gonna go ahead and take photos because I haven't downloaded the desktop version of that. So you in the search bar, you'll see this install app. And then you click install, and then it will open Google Photos. It's its own app on 
the dock. Now you will have to open Chrome in order for this to work, but I really do like this feature because then you have less tabs open. So for example, I've downloaded the books for like Sora because that's what I use for online reading. So this could be really useful if you always have so many tabs open. And also when you go to Google Docs let, or um, Google Photos, you can click that little uh, menu bar. It has like an arrow shooting out and then it'll open the app for you. So there are a lot of benefits from doing that. Next, I'll be showing you how I customize the actual folder icons. So there are many videos on this, so I'll just quickly go over through. So you're gonna go ahead and click get info for the folder you wanna change. Copy and paste the image that you want as the folder. So let's say I want all of them the same. So I'll just go ahead and copy from that one and paste it on this one. And it'll take a couple seconds, but then it will show as this as the photo that you chose it. I go more in detail on this in my how I organize my laptop, so make sure you watch that. So next I'm gonna show how I customize my dock and mini bar. So you can change the size and magnification, but I personally like a large dock and zero magnification. You can also choose which side it is on. So there's a bunch of cool things that you can change with the top menu bar, I believe with the Mac OS Big Sur update. And it's really useful because I am able to uh, access everything really quickly. Like Bluetooth's easy access, I can easily Bluetooth stuff. It's just so much easier when you have it like this. You can choose if you want it on the menu bar or only in the control center. So there's a bunch of ways you can customize. Next, I'll be showing you how I customize some shortcuts. So for example, for my launch pad, I put a shortcut and it's command shift U, or you can do whichever one you think it, you will remember most. So I'm gonna change it back to control shift U and let's say I did it, it shows up my dock. So it's really useful if um, just so that you can quickly access something and you can change a bunch of them. So if you want to make shortcuts easier, I recommend this. Now I'm going to show you how I customize these shortcuts. As you can see, I have some really cool emoji ones, but let me show you how I did that. So first things first, I opened the actual thing, like the tab, and I went ahead and um, deleted the original bookmark and created a new one. Then I renamed it, but with an emoji as the first letter or the first thing and then when I make a new tab then it will go ahead and show me as the emoji and when I figured this out I absolutely loved it and I told everyone because I thought it was so cool it just makes everything look so much um, better but this only works for apps that do not have the logo on the shortcut so if I would recommend trying that out before you go ahead and change the first letter and last but not least I talked about this in my chrome extensions but i decided to add it here too there's this chrome extension where you can change the look of your cursor and it's super fun and i really like it because they have some really cute designs and you can add, choose which ones you want so this is my favorite design pack it and i love the heart air balloon one i just found it out and i really like it but you can change your cursor to your liking which is super duper cool Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It just tells me if I need to change anything. And it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. If you want more videos like this, or if you have any suggestions for student lifestyle or organization videos, make sure you comment on my discussion page. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!